okay it's time to make this high scoreboard work so what I've done is I showed you last time that we stop the playhead on the high scoreboard and then we create a load, var load vars object to call a PHP script so anyway I want to show you how we're going to work this now um, to test this out locally and to run uh, PHP you have to have PHP installed on your system so for Windows users or I guess even maybe even Mac users I recommend using um, some type of uh, Apache MySQL PHP uh, installation package that will install Apache web server uh, SQL server, MySQL server, and PHP on your system. So I have a WAMP server 2.0 installed here, and you can see kind of here down in the corner it's installed, it's in my system tray. And I recommend uh, going to WAMP server, look it up on Google, WAMP server 2.0, download it, install it, and it'll install MySQL, PHP, and Apache web server. And then once you have that done, you can go to your WW directory and start putting things in it. So here's my WW directory. And you can see here I've made a folder called Flash. Um, and if, oh, here it is. This is the folder I'm using, a folder called Game for my game. And in there, I've got my Flash file, right, called Robotron Redo 2. And I've got a PHP um, file called GetScore2.php. So let me show you the PHP code. Now this PHP file is just a text file that's been named .php and I'll show you that I've typed it out in a text editor the text editor I've used is Komodo edit um, it's a free editor uh, look it up on Google and download it and it's a, a free download Komodo edit here you can see it up here in the top version 5.2 and or you could use notepad or any other text editor to create this file just make sure you give it the .php extension at the end and you can see here I've got an opening PHP tag a closing PHP tag and then on the first line here or the second line rather you can see the line numbers I've got a variable called connect and that equals a MySQL connection to a local host which means um, the local um, MySQL server um, using root user, right? Root user, uh, and the root user has no password. So this is not a secure system. Um, if you're doing this on a live server, you'll have a different username that you'll have to connect with, and you'll have an actual password in here that you'll have to connect with. And that's not hard to change. You just put in the, the actual username and the actual password, and you're all good. Then um, MySQL select. Uh, database and underscore select underscore DB and then you put in the database that you're connecting to here so in this case my database is called scores underscore database and then you call the connection um, your connect variable right which is right up here which calls the connection then on the next two lines I set up two uh, variables one called scores and make it equal to essentially a string of nothing um, and then the count variable making it equal to a string of nothing then here is the query uh, this query uh, will um, select everything right everything right here asterisk from the um, users table right and it's going to order that information from the users table by the score field and uh, descending um, order with uh, starting at row 0 and ending at row 10. So this line right here, once again, um, looks in the users table and orders the results by the score field, uh, rows 0 through 10. And then the next line um, result in the MySQL query, and then you pass the query to that. And then once that's done, I created a variable called i, set it to zero, and then we iterate through the, we loop through the rows, and we load the name and the score, right, into, um, into a, a hash with a name and score, um, we basically name it into a hash with a name and score property and then we echo that out here and there's the count variable from our flash that we needed and um, and then we echo and output scores and that will output basically all of this right so you can just copy this and um, and then I'll show you how to create the database 
Okay, now we're going to look at the database. So I'm going to click on my WAMP server tool here, and I will open up. This is really handy. It also installs PHP My Admin as a way of interfacing with your uh, MySQL database in a very nice user-friendly way. So I'm going to launch PHP My Admin. All right, to show you the database. All right, and you'll see here that we've got a um, here's a bunch of databases, and then here's one uh, scores and then underscore db. So this is scores underscore db. This is the database I'm interested in, so I'm going to click on it. And you can see in the scores underscore db, there is only one table called users. And we click on that table, users. And you'll see that in the um, tables, in this uh, table, there is only three fields or three um, columns. Um, one is ID, the other one is name, and the other one is score. So that's the information you can see here that I have the, um, I have about 13 scores, 13 usernames in this um, database, right? So let's try it out now and see if this thing will work. So we go back to Flash, and I'm going to go to File, Publish Settings, and I'm going to publish a Flash and an HTML version of this game. And I'm going to call the game here, um, the HTML for it, just game.html, right? Or I'll say robo game.html. And I'll hit publish. Okay. And click OK. And now if I look into, I can use WAMP server to go to my WW directory. And in my WW directory, I'll go into the game folder. And you'll see now that I've got robo game HTML. There's my flash movie. And there's my getscore2.php file. So now what I can do is using Firefox, I can go to localhost forward slash game just to show you that this web server is working locally I can go to localhost forward slash game and there's the files right in the web browser and I'll just click on robogame.html and you can see here that it um, stops on the high scoreboard and it loads the high scores from the PHP file and then now we can just move on to the game and at the end of the game, we can add a high score to the high score table.